It's video three, everybody, and here we go. Marla, here's your beagle. Yeah, I told you he would be waiting for us, okay? Yeah, see everybody, I hope that you practiced all the words so far. Don't let them go by too quickly. Review, review. How about this for an extra? What was that word that Randy threw in? for the device that raises a car up so that a person can work under it. Hoist, right, hoist. Or how about Marcello's idiom for not associating with him anymore? Oh, slip him a dead fish. Yeah, yeah. Stay away from him. Yeah, stop hanging around with him. Slip him a dead fish. Well, Marla, your beagle's waiting. Here we go. Siha saw a beagle near the beach that was covered with mustard. Oh, and Marla, not only is it your beagle, it's one of your favorite mistakes to correct. Yeah. Yes, Marla, she says, it sounds as if the beach is covered with mustard. Yeah, yes, put that interfering stuff out at the beginning. Yes, get near the beach, out at the start. Yeah, you can even use a comma to tuck it away, okay, like this. Near the beach, Siha saw a beagle that was covered with mustard. Oh man, Marla, and look at how that word beagle is right in front of the word that. The word that refers directly to beagle. So the two words are side by side. Oh. Oh, Marla again. Marla only participated in soccer, only a little so that she wouldn't harm her small and fragile toes. Oh, Marla, you, you dabbled in soccer, yes, because you didn't want to damage your dainty toes. Yeah. Dabbled, damage, dainty. There you go. Marla only dabbled in soccer so that she wouldn't damage her dainty toes. Every emotional representative moves slowly away. Oh, representative, Randy? Yes, good, Randy, good, good memory, yes. Emissary, yep, and eased, right, there you go. Every emotional emissary eased away, moves slowly. Every emotional emissary eased away. Our coach said them rivals of ours didn't have anything but good luck. Oh, and Asa covers his ears. Them rivals? No, no. Modifying a word like that, modifying rivals, no, them is to be replaced by those, okay? When those fits in place of them, you have to do it. Our coach said those rivals of ours didn't have anything but good luck. <laughs> but look, look at the scoreboard, everybody. 138 to nothing. Oh, man. That's more than good luck. Elena put together an opinion article about the very fancy party. Oh. Julia. Composed, right. Editorial and Elaborate, yes, elaborate. Here they are. 
Elena composed an editorial about the elaborate party. Oh, and Julia says, The Great Gatsby. And you're right. You're right, Julia. You've seen that movie. Yeah. Oh, and that's an old version of The Great Gatsby. Yeah. One of our famous American novels, and it's become a famous American movie. Yeah. Elena composed an editorial about the elaborate party. After more time went by, Asa forgot about the scary grand house. Oh, Asa, here you are. Yeah. Elapsed, right? Ooh. Eerie mansion. Yes. Ooh, look at this mansion here in the picture. Ho, ho. Yeah. Asa, here they are. After more time elapsed, Asa forgot about the eerie mansion. Eerie mansion. Up top, elapsed. After more time elapsed, elapsed. Shouldn't we cut down these huge dead trees? Ooh, we probably should, everybody, before a dead limb falls into the street and hits a car. Shouldn't we cut down these huge dead trees? Don't delay, okay? Don't, huh, Marcelo? Hey, you're right. Don't drag your feet. Come on now, get going. Don't drag your feet. As regards ancient Norway, Randy is more disinterested than his six sisters-in-law. Oh, ooh, yes, it is. You're right, Randy. It is the disinterested, uninterested problem. Okay. Oh, well, look at this guy in the picture yawning. Yeah, he is uninterested. Yeah, Randy. Right, disinterested uh, has as its first meaning not having a financial stake in, not having any money involved with. Okay, we don't want to suggest that, so we go straight to uninterested. Okay, here it is. As regards ancient Norway, Randy is more uninterested than his six sisters-in-law. Well, there's a tongue twister. Six sisters-in-law. We professors are excited about our well-functioning library. Oh, and Julia? Educators, right. Enthused. Efficient, right. Educators, enthused, efficient. We educators are enthused about our efficient library. I sent a sincere letter to my strange uncle. Oh, this guy does look a little eccentric, doesn't he? Okay, yeah. He's having a good time. Ooh. What? And up top, Marcelo? Earnest, yes, sincere. Marcelo, the whole thing. I sent an earnest letter to my eccentric uncle. My sunflowers are so immense and enormous that my son can't reach the tops of them. Hoo, 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 hoo. Marla, I knew we'd be coming to one of your favorites. Yes, oh, she says it. Redundant. Yes, immense and enormous. No, repetitious, redundant. Yeah, one or the other. Let's see, which one should we drop? Oh, yeah, get rid of enormous. And then, of course, the word and. My sunflowers are so immense 
that my son can't reach the tops of them. Our self-centered star says he'll surpass the record very soon. Ooh, ooh, has a good golf swing. Asa, Julia, Randy are golfers, everybody. Yeah, all good golfers. Oh, self-centered? Egotistical, Randy, yes, egotistical, and eclipse, yes, to surpass. Our egotistical star says he'll eclipse the record very soon. Egotistical, eclipse, eclipse. We were made happy by the high class celebration. Oh, yeah. Elated, yes, elated, made happy. A church, elegant ceremony, right. Oh, this does look like a fancy wedding reception here, okay? Reception hall, yeah. Oh, and church, we were elated by the Elegant ceremony. Elated, elegant ceremony. We can bring some potato salad for your picnic. Ooh, there's a good sentence to memorize and practice. No mistakes. Just memorize it. We can bring some potato salad for your picnic and just keep saying it, okay? as you're uh, raking the backyard. We can bring some sa potato salad for your picnic. We can bring some potato salad for your picnic. Reveal what is bothering you. Yeah, come on out with it now, okay? Stop holding it in. Or Marla? Yes. Get it off your chest. It's time to get it off your chest. Although Marla has calmed my fears, my worst nightmares out are bound to reoccur. Ooh, yes, it's an easy one. There is, yes, Miriam, no such word as reoccur. Yeah, just recur. Here you go. Although Marla has calmed my fears, my worst nightmares are bound to recur. Oh, and what about calmed? Can you say calmed? Oh, and Marla says it. Rrr, yes. Yes. Optional. Yeah. Some people say calm without the L sound. Others say calm. Okay. Calm is the traditional pronunciation. Calm is the new one. Don made the just joking claim that he can outrace a large hunting bird. Oh, Julia. Oh, she laughs everybody. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I can't, Julia. Yeah. What? Facetious. Falcon, right. Don made the facetious claim that he can outrace a falcon. Ooh, look at this falcon there. Yeah. We had a lack of success in recognizing the mistaken idea. Oh, church? Failure, yes, a lack of success, failure, in detecting fallacy. Yes, okay, good. We had a failure in detecting the fallacy, okay? Failure, detecting, fallacy. The UN has five criterions for judging air pollutants. Ooh, here's an easy one. Yeah, Asa, 
Right, that, correct, yep. No such word as criterions, yeah. Correct, Asa, criterion is singular, but then for the plural, it says criteria. The UN has five criteria for judging air pollutants. Ooh, look at that black smoke billowing out of those smokestacks. Yes, billowing, yeah, puffing out and blowing off, billowing. Our new church division will not break down during Lent. Oh, what, a church division? A faction, yes, a division of any organization. Faction and falter, right, Miriam? There you go. Our new church faction will not falter during Lent. Some wild animals got extremely hungry during the severe shortage of food plants. Ah, Asa? Yes, famished, extremely hungry, and yes, during the famine, famine, okay? Some wild animals got famished during the famine. Famished, famine. In this heat, I'll stand in Lake Marion all afternoon. Oh, boy, the heat of summer. Yeah, pretty tempting to stand in the water all afternoon. Oh, look at that beautiful sailboat, everybody. Yeah. Obtain the stronger position. Oh, ho, ho, Marcelo has it right away. Yes, get the upper hand. Yeah, be in the lead. Be in the dominant position. Get the upper hand. If Adele won't stock his refrigerators, we are not moving in his house. Ooh, and Church gets it right away. Yes, 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 he says, in two. <laughs> Church, yes. And what's the rule, Church? Right. When you see in, Determine if you can replace it with in two. And if you can, well, then you must. Okay? If Adele won't stock his refrigerators, we are not moving into his house. To keep up his false front, Trump will make up a few lies. Ooh, uh oh. Oh, so some people think that Trump has told some lies. Oh, to maintain his false front facade, Miriam. Yes, a facade and fabricate, Miriam. Good memory. Yeah, yeah. Do the whole thing here. To maintain his facade, Trump will fabricate a few lies. To make easier the harvest, George will attach a cart to his tractor. Okay? Now, notice in the wording, now, we would have to say, to make the harvest easier. We wouldn't say, to make easier the harvest. Now, in regular, good flowing English. Okay? Yeah. Uh, or I guess I should have said, well flowing. Uh, what says? Randy? Facilitate. Right. And fasten. There you go. To facilitate the harvest, George will fasten a cart to his tractor. My brother and his flock of friends doesn't leave bikes in the driveway. Well, now, Asa, yes, he says, brother and flock. Oh, that's, 
automatically plural then. So, yeah, we have to have Asa right. Don't. Yeah, to match up. My brother and his flock of friends don't leave bikes in the driveway. Tom had an impractical idea about global warming. Ooh. Oh, there's that smoke again. Oh, billowing out of the smokestacks. Oh, yeah. impractical, uh, Marla? Far-fetched, right? And notion, correct. Tom had a far-fetched notion about global warming. You need a good for growing field to grow a tremendous crop. Oh, Asa. Fertile, yes, good for growing. Fertile ground, a fertile field, yes, fertile. And fabulous, right, okay. You need a fertile field to grow a fabulous crop. Let's watch Sandra do a somersault off the diving board. Ho oh, ho, Marla, there's your cousin Sandra. Ooh, look at that, a, a backwards flip. Not, who Marla says, not for me. <laughs> Let's watch Sandra do a somersault off the diving board. A starting chance for getting hired Ooh, oh, uh, oh, Marcella, you've got it. Right, a foot in the door. Yep. Now at least we have a foot in the door, a chance for getting hired. Oh, and here's a discussion topic, everybody. Yeah, one you might like to try with a few friends, some fellow English learners. Yeah. Talk about a favorite spectator sport, you know, the world sport, soccer, or as it's called outside of America, football, okay? Yeah, talk about something like that, okay? The biggest game ever. Oh, and this, yes, this is the last page of our video number three. Just between you and, uh oh, Marla says it already. Yes, me. Yeah, after the word between, yeah, you look for me or him or her or us or them or whom, okay? Not their counterparts, okay? Yeah, just between you and me. And what don't you do, Marla? Yes, you don't throw in myself trying to get out of making the choice, okay? Just between you and me, okay? When the armored soldier took off his protective glove, we saw thin bandaging on his wrist. Ooh, Randy. Yep, yes, an armored soldier, yeah. Knight, okay. Oh, Gauntlet and gauze, right? Knight, gauntlet, gauze. Here they are, Randy. When the knight took off his gauntlet, we saw gauze on his wrist. Look at that knight there on the left, okay? He has his shield and his sword, okay? Yeah. Ooh. And there in that middle picture, that's his gauntlet. Yeah, his protective glove. It was in poor taste to wear such a overly decorative dress to the regimental ball. Oh, ooh, Marla, gauche, right, and Yes, gaudy. It was gauche to wear 
such a gaudy dress to the regimental ball. Gauche, gaudy. Yeah, two good words, everybody. Oh, well, these are all good words, or we wouldn't be taking them. Julia is able to sing beautiful when moonlight shines upon the water. Ho, ho, Julia. Oh, there you are, singing away in the moonlight. Oh, it, she says, sing is action. Yes, and so, yes, when you're modifying action, yeah, you go for the L-Y, beautifully, right? Julia is able to sing beautifully when moonlight shines upon the water. Is there a small device to measure the speed of Bobby's walking style? Oh, a small device is a charge, is a gadget, right? Good, good charge, yes, gadget. And gait, yes, the walking style. Go ahead. Yes. Is there a gadget? to measure the speed of Bobby's gait. The heroic cowboy roamed across the windswept prairie. Ooh, there he is galloping along across the prairie. Oh, Mariana. Ooh, yes, he is the heroic cowboy, the gallant cowboy, and yes, Oh, he gallivanted. Yes, he did. The gallant cowboy gallivanted across the windswept prairie. Drink plenty of water on a hot day. Yeah, you don't want to, Asa, get what from lack of water? Yes, dehydrated. Yeah. Drink plenty of water on a hot day. Greatly disgusts me. Yeah, really bothers me. Oh, sickens me. Or, idiom man. <laughs> turns my stomach right. That just turns my stomach. Was that the end? I think it was the end of video three, and it is, okay? Oh, well, we had some good words, didn't we, everybody? And some very good correctness principles. And, well, do some reviewing. Talk in English only for 45 minutes to an hour, and we will be seeing you very soon for video number four. Bye-bye.